Michael. Hi, Alex. Hi. I was just saying that I had a favorite car, and this is it. This is such a beautiful car. Yeah, this is uh, the all-new Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. So what makes this car so special? I think two things. Um, first, um, it's the first all-electric car of Porsche that earned the GTS badge. And uh, the Taycan itself is a best-selling car, and it did win already a lot of awards, maybe more awards than any Porsche before. Mm. And the GTS version is more performance, more agility, more dynamics, basically more of what you want and what you love. So what else? What else, Alex? It's the body style. The Sport Turismo is just a more sportier, more dynamic variant of what you might know as the Cross Turismo. I love. I mean, I love the the colors, the red paint, and the black rims and decals. It's so cool. Yeah, well spotted. So it's uh, the GTS color. We have the Carmine Red for the GTS family, and it lives from the contrast of the black and Carmine Red. And this is uh, typical GTS DNA. So even the calipers are uh, colored in red. Uh, the door seals are uh, a gloss black. So would you say that this is the perfect car for racing buffs? You could go on a racetrack <laughs> and have a lot of fun with this car. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it's also a good car for every day. It's practical, but you can have a lot of fun, not only on country roads, but also on the racetrack. Yeah? Sweet. Can we check those out? Yes, come here. Oh, great. <gasps> Alex, yes. try this button. Well, okay, cool. What does it do? So it just shuts the sunlight off. It's an electrochromatic panoramic sunroof. So, and with this nine segments, you can shut and shade uh, the sunlight off and also the heat off. So this is, from my point of view, a cool feature uh, for California. Yeah, that's very cool. You can also keep the paparazzi out, which is very cool for Los Angeles. So what else have you gotten here? I love the feeling of this sport steering wheel. Yeah, this is our so-called race tax material. Uh, it's a material you find with every GTS, so it's a typical GTS ingredient and it's derived from our race cars. Oh, cool. So you have a leather-free option. That's really good. And I love the stitching and the stitching on the headrest. Like, the attention to detail is amazing. But that's just looks and appearances, and you know that you can't judge a book by its cover. Exactly. Real elegance and technology shines from within. Just have a look. Yes. So, so what is this? Yeah, this is an, an app and you could X-ray the car. Wow, this is, a, I, I mean, this is such a cool app. We did take the rear axle for the GTS from the turbo. That means more torque, more power in the rear, and the front axle is taking uh, is taken from the 4S. So together, this package is much more sporty, much more agile. So, for me as a driver, that just means more fun. Definitely more fun to drive, more drifting capabilities, uh, things like that. Okay, cool. So. Did you just take old parts and, and now you're trying to sell them as something new? <laughs> no, not exactly. So, for example, we do not have only the rear axle from the turbo. We have a new suspension on this car. So the chassis setup, the suspension, the engine combination together makes a package that brings more sportiness, more agility to this car. So more fun to drive, hmm. more of what you like. And Alex, there is just one more thing about the car I really like. Just listen. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> that is our brand new electric GTS sound. So no Porsche is really complete without having its own characteristic sound. This is 100% Hollywood approved. Ha, you guys are not the only ones who have such special effects. That's true, you got me there. But um, I'm sure that you have some tech numbers and info you want to get out, so go on, do it. If we talk about a new Porsche, it's uh, always about performance and power. We have now 440 kilowatts, so 
20 more with the real axle of the turbo than the 4S and in terms of acceleration superior. So 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 3.7 seconds. So this is pretty fast. I mean, it's a little nerdy, but that sounds like a pretty impressive drive.